hello how you doing this is the second part of road to riches biblically land decreased spending decreased debt i cannot emphasize enough to buy land that was the first economic command that the lord god gave the israelites is to buy land i cannot you must buy land you must buy land you must buy land you must buy it. Now, let's say if you bought an acre, you lost your job at Verizon. Okay, well, you're going to need that acre land because, you, you know, where you, you can park your car there. If the police uh, say anything to you, you can just tell, look, here's the title deed to this property. I just bought it years ago, and the police will leave you alone. Okay. It's because you, all you do is park on your land. So what can you build on an acre? You can build your own house. You get the books. You can get the books on how to build a house. Okay? You get the books. You get the, um, oh, or really, you can just put a yurt on it. You know what a yurt is? Y-U-R-T. You can put a tent on it. It's your property. You can do anything you want to do. You can do anything, you know, if you, but I do recommend you put a fence around it, you know, just to keep the animals out. Uh, but you can put a tent on it. It's yours. But you must buy land. You must buy land. You must buy land. If you're in Gary, Indiana, buy some of those tax acre properties. You need to decrease spending way down. If you're poor, why are you spending? Why are you spending? Okay. Okay, why are you buying this $800 dress? Now, look, I know a lot of men cannot afford me because the clothes that I like cost a lot of money. And I know... They can't afford it. I'm not even fooling myself. They cannot afford it. The clothes I like cost a lot of money. Okay. Uh, so I know they cannot. I don't fool myself. So therefore, I don't make any demands. Because I know they cannot afford it. Okay. So decrease the spending. And actually, the places I go, I can wear my jeans a lot. Okay. Decrease the debt. I'm not a... Do not... If you buy a house, do not borrow against the house under any circumstances. Do not borrow against the house. Pay that house off. Get that title deed to the property. So um, those are some decrease spending. Get into the habit of saving. You know, a lot of senior citizens, they get real upset when they when their check, their Social Security check is not in the bank. They get very upset. Why? Because they don't have any savings. So that's why they're upset. I mean, I've seen senior citizens begging for money, which is wrong. If you're a senior citizen, you got to check. You What you need to do is save that check. Okay, see, they haven't saved anything in, when they're young and they're not saving anything. Now that they oh, so I'm telling you, get into the habit of saving. Buy a property. <coughs> Excuse me. Get into the habit of saving. Like I said, decrease no debt. And most of these items, to tell the truth, you can you can wait. I mean, um, you know, I'm well aware I can buy a flat screen TV, but I'm not a person I can just look at TV all night. I cannot do that. Just look just look at a screen all night. That's it. And it's not really much on TV. But anyway, I can't do that. So the bottom line, the roads to riches, is do what the Bible says. Be diligent. Be hard work. Uh, do hard work. Be diligent. Buy land. You don't need to steal from anybody. You don't need to steal from the poor. You don't need to steal from CVS. You don't need no shampoo from CVS. <laughs> I, right here in front of me is a whole, uh, a whole box of shampoo that I bought, uh, you know, over the years. Shampoo and conditioner. You know, buy one, get one free. Here it is. Okay, so I haven't bought shampoo in a long time because I got a whole box of it right here. Uh, shampoo and conditioner. And uh, not to mention... Um, shaving supplies okay about I, I bought it buy one get one free so you don't i don't need to steal from cvs i got a shampoo conditioner right here plenty of it um coupons buy in bulk you know the the criminal world is not what it is what people think it is because number one you may not live uh, past 15 days you may not live past 10 days and this seems to me a certain criminal activity uh the people under 18 are killed first and then the people over 40 are killed. People 40 up are killed first in the first 30 days that they get into the criminal activity. And then people 18 and below are killed the first 30 days that they get into criminal activity. That's what, just something that I noticed. So if you get into criminal activity, you want to sell, sell some drugs part time, you may not, you probably won't live to tell about it. Okay. 
uh, you know, there was this kid who um, we know, and uh, I was just surprised he got into drugs. It didn't take police 30 days to find him and arrest him and put him in jail. It didn't take police 30 days. We, and, and you know why? Because he was an amateur. He didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> but, you know, he's safer in jail than he is on the street because he don't know, know how to do nothing. Okay? But um, that's what my recommendation is. Buy land above all, all the time, which is what God commanded in Genesis. Uh, work hard. You know, the Asians do have something. The, the, the recession of depression doesn't even affect the Asians because they got uh, thousands of dollars in the bank. They don't spend it. They work hard. They, say, they don't spend nothing. They, they buy 25 cent clothes. <laughs> you know, they're in the thrift shops too. They buy 25 cent blouses, 25 cent pants. 20, they, and they wear the shoes for years and years and years. Okay, so that's why they don't spend nothing. They don't spend nothing on food. They don't spend nothing on clothing. So that's why they have something. Okay, you don't need to rob the poor. You don't, this criminal activity, you're going to lose it all when you go to jail. Okay, if you have 10,000 coming in, 10,000 going out, remember, you are poor. Remember, you are poor. If you have a million dollars coming in and two million going out, remember, you are really poor. Remember that. Okay, and the Bible says to be diligent, hard work, uh, count the cost. If you're going to build something, count the cost of it. Be diligent. Okay, seek wise people. Don't hang around super people. Okay, hang around people who understand money. Hang around people who understand what a dollar is. Hang around people who understand that four quarters equals a dollar. Because if you don't understand it, you won't understand anything about American money. Uh, by humility and fear of the Lord, our riches, honor, and life. Now, you do have to live up right before the Lord. If you want the Lord to give you blessings, if you want the Lord to give you riches, you do have to live up right before him. Okay, have a nice day.